Chipotle is accused of union busting after it shut down a store in eastern Maine. Here's what happened. A group of employees there filed paperwork to form a union last month with the National Labor Relations Board. They were the first Chipotle employees to do so anywhere. They complained of not enough training and said the store was understaffed. Then just hours before the two sides were scheduled to meet, Chipotle management said it was shutting down that location. Management claimed it had nothing to do with the union effort. Now, the lawyer for the employees says they filed an unfair labor practice charge with the NLRB. CBC's Kate Rogers covers the restaurant business for us. Kate, what are both sides saying now? Shep, Chipotle says the store is being closed as it had been plagued with excessive callouts, staffing challenges, and lack of availability from its existing staff. It's been closed to the public since June 17th, but Chipotle said that it was kept open for training in order to keep paying employees, adding, quote, closing the Chipotle restaurant in Augusta, Maine, has nothing to do with union activity. Our operational management reviewed this situation as it would with any other restaurant with these unique staffing challenges. Chipotle respects our employees' rights to order organized under the National Labor Relations Act. The store's workers will receive severance pay and assistance finding new jobs, according to the company. But the union says otherwise, claiming this is retaliatory action against them for seeking to organize. The workers there held a rally on Tuesday evening, and I spoke to organizer Brandy McNeese, who told me the union's top three concerns are crew safety, food safety, and short staffing, adding that organizers feel fueled by the store closure. They quit the game. They flipped the checkerboard. They refused to play, took their bat and their ball and went home. And we are still fighting. So for them to step out like that is not, no, absolutely not acceptable. You can't just shut us down and walk away. This is not over. We are not giving up. Chipotle workers organizing say they've drawn inspiration from Starbucks Workers United, but so far only two stores have filed petitions at Chipotle to organize, whereas at Starbucks it's well over 300 at this point.